Two weeks ago, the Tennessee Titans put on a performance against the New Orleans Saints that was so bad, I said it was one of the worst I'd ever seen, and they'd never be able to top it. It took them two weeks to top it. Whatever I just watched happen in Cleveland against the Browns, uh, I, I don't even know the words to describe it. Um, putrid, awful, devoid of merit, um, disgusting, just, just an embarrassing, embarrassing loss. And some of you Titans fans are already just falling all over yourself to try to find one person that you can blame it on. One player, one coach that you can look at and say, man, if we could just get them out of there and replace them, we'd be fine. And I know that's convenient and that's an easy thing to do. But I got news for you. This loss today and how awful it was, this was a team effort. This was a team effort today. Nothing was good. Today, on that field, nothing was good. Not just that nothing was good enough. Nothing was good. Offense, defense, special teams, it was all bad. All bad today. So before you go trying to look for one particular person you can just blame it all on, you need to check yourself and realize it's a lot more complex than that because... This is a team effort, this loss today. Let's start on offense. You know, we got a little glimmer of hope last week because they were able to put together a, f a few possessions against the Chargers, for which the Chargers should still be having an answer for this week, seeing their other two performances, the Titans, I mean, against the Saints and Browns. But... Literally, nine of the last ten regular season games, it has been some of the worst offense I've ever seen. The Titans couldn't even get 100 yards of total offense on a day where the Miami Dolphins scored 70 points. I don't even know if the Titans are going to score 70 points all year. It's like combined. I think there are some uh, people on this offense who have not lived up to expectations so far. I think that uh, people talk about Tim Kelly to play calling. I, I don't even know what play you would have to call that would succeed. I, I would like to do away with the pitch to Derrick Henry up the middle. It, it's never worked. It's it's never provided any happiness or joy in any of our lives in five years, and, and let's just throw that one out. But offensive line, my, my gosh. There's two things I want to say about this. We knew going in Miles Garrett was going to be hard to block, right? We knew that. We still put our left tackle out there alone and tasked him with blocking him by himself. And there were even times when we put our backup tight end against him and said, good luck, including on the last play of the first half when we were just trying to get some points before the half. And the very thing you couldn't do was either take a sack or commit a turnover. And that was the play where we chose to put our left tackle, who'd been getting killed by Miles Garrett all day, one-on-one -on -one with him. And that, of course, led to the easiest sack of Miles Garrett's career and no points at the end of the first half. That's on everybody. That's coaching. That's offensive line. That's, that's everybody. That's everybody. I have never seen... A team go out there, and I just know there's going to be a sack. Every possession. I'm just waiting for it. When's the sack going to When's the sack going to happen? First, second, third down? Well, we know it's coming, but it's just, you know, at least one of them. And today, it was just almost to the point you had to laugh. I think when Skaronsky's able to come back, we need to put Raidens at left tackle and Skaronsky back at left guard and go with that. But, I mean, even that, like, there's so much wrong with this team right now. That's just like putting a small cup of water in the ocean. There is so much more to take care of other than that. That's a big one, the offensive line, but there's so much more, like, 
I think Tannehill's not as mobile as he used to be, so he can't extend plays. And when you have an offensive line that doesn't do a, such a great job protecting you sometimes, you got to be able to extend plays with your legs. Tannehill can't do that. He missed some throws today, God bless him. Uh, not as bad of a game as two weeks ago, but, I mean, you know, he could go out there and take a dookie in the middle of the field, and it's, 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 it's going to be a better game two weeks ago. Still, I mean, like... You take away those couple throws before half, which was a great catch by Hopkins and then a great catch by Moore. But it's like, why do, why do we have to do that when we're in desperation mode? Where is that at any other time? Derrick Henry, probably the worst game of his career today. And, and I'm not going to place that blame totally on him. It, you know, he's seldomly ever in the game. When he's in there, the offensive line doesn't doesn't block well for him especially against a good defense like the Browns. A Browns defense who, yeah, they're good, but they ain't looked that good as they did today. We took a really good defense and made them look all-time elite. There are some receivers and tight ends on this team that we had high hopes for coming into this season, and right now I'm wondering what in the heck's wrong with them because I ain't seeing nothing from none of them. And um, with the exception of a couple of possessions against the Chargers last week, this offense, after this entire offseason with D-Hop coming in, a revamped O-line, new OC, new GM, it looks like the same old crap, maybe even worse. I mean, that that performance today I think was worse than any of the seven-game losing streak to end last year. I, I mean, like, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a worse performance. Did, once again, didn't even put up a touchdown. Two out of three games so far this year, they didn't even score a touchdown. Like, it's unacceptable. We're in a league where the Dolphins are scoring 70 points. We're in a league where where you have Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and, and all of these talented, talented offenses with talent all over the place. The 49ers, the Eagles, some of those teams in the NFC. And, like, this is the offense that you put on the field I don't know, man. I, I, I hear people saying we need to go to Malik Willis or Will Levis just to try to get a spark. Just to try, even if you don't believe it's all on Tannehill, which I don't because I don't believe it's all on anybody. I think everybody just, it's a team effort when you look this bad. But, you know, some people are saying we need to go with one of the young guys just to try to give a spark to this offense. I don't know, man. I mean, look how many moves they made in the offseason to try to bring a spark to the offense. And it's just, we've gone backwards. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. That's the thing. I don't know what to tell you. Let's go to defense now. Secondary. My gosh. Christian Fulton, Amari Cooper just having his way today. Penalties, and we got to talk about penalties across the board. How undisciplined is this team? Penalties for the first three weeks, pre snap penalties. 12 men in the huddle today. What are we doing? False starts and, and defensive pass interference and defensive holding and roughing the passer and all of this stuff. It's, it's just like that's on everybody. That's on coaching. That's on players. It's, it's ridiculous. The secondary just got torched by a dude and Deshaun Watson who hasn't played meaningful football in three years and the couple games he has played some meaningful football, he's looked bad. We're talking about a dude and Deshaun Watson who tried to throw the pass backwards today and it ended up being a touchdown drive, guys. He threw the ball backwards into the backfield and lost 16 yards and about three plays later they were celebrating in the end zone. I saw a tweet that said the Titans are trying to outdumb the Browns. They did. They didn't try. They succeeded in outdumbing the Browns. If a quarterback's going to throw the ball backwards into the backfield like a moron, then my stomach's growling. I can't even. I can't even fathom how you could let that that dumb of a play get let off the hook. What else? Special teams, whatever. And that's uh, I can't even bring myself to talk about special teams. I was told this front four for the Titans was going to have a field day with the Browns offensive line. Well, hello? What are we waiting for? 
this is as disappointing a performance as I've seen, and that's saying something. And to make it worse, I just watched the Colts beat the Ravens with Gardner Minshew. Like, so there's an AFC South team who's now in sole possession of first place in the Colts at two and one. And so where do we go from here? I don't even know, dude. I, I don't, because it's, it's week three. It's not week 13. If it was late in the season, you just say, okay, we're just going to tank it the rest of the way and hope to God for better days in the future. But like, you, it's week three. We have 14 weeks left. 15. Actually, if you count the buy, so, I don't, I don't, I don't know. We can't just start tanking now. We got too far to go. So, how do you salvage this? How do you, how do you make what we saw today better? Yes, getting Skaronsky back is going to help. But like, what are you going to do to help this secondary? What are you going to do to help? to help get more threats in the receiving uh, passing game what are you going to do to help your quarterback like wh there's so much wrong there is so much wrong with this team right now I don't even know I just feel my thoughts are all jumbled up it's just like what are we even doing what are we even doing I, I just I don't even have it in me anymore and it's only week three I'm already sick of this it doesn't even surprise me anymore Y'all got all, you know, and I say y'all, me too. We got all excited after we beat the Chargers. Oh, we're we're gonna we're gonna go on a run here. Yeah, we want to run. Look like we had the runs. They're gonna give me the runs. It's it's ridiculous, man. It, it, and y'all want to try to pin it on one person? I watched an entire team, coaches and players both, that looked completely like they were sleepwalking today. Week three after coming off a big overtime win. And that's what they put on the field. And I don't know how you salvage it, man. I don't know how you salvage it. I don't even know where you start. But now the defense, which was supposed to be our saving grace, no, they're, they're getting toasted. So I don't know, man. But it's going to be a long week. And guess who's coming to town next? The Bengals. A, a team that we apparently can't beat. Joe Burrow probably going to be on a week of rest. Whatever, man. Like... <sighs> Ain't nothing I can do about it. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Tighten up. Bye.